G'day guys, welcome to Teach Together Cry. We're looking at displacement, and displacement means how much of a substance is moved. And we're looking at um, how much water is displaced, how much water is displaced by cubic centimetres today. Uh, we're looking at how much water is displaced or moved by cubic centimetres. And because we're looking at it, we've got to understand what millilitres are. So our, our learning intention, I guess, is that we are learning that one cubic centimetre displaces or moves one millilitre litre of water which looks a bit like this here's a little tiny cubic centimeter like those little wooden blocks you've probably seen and that it actually moves that actually shifts exactly one milliliter of water so if you put this in here the water should go up by um, one milliliter um, our success criteria probably looks a bit like this let's say we've got a beaker and that's got 20 um, milliliters of water in it and there's my water so 20 milliliters of water and I've got a, a, a cubic uh, an object made out of cubic centimeters over here and you can have a look that you can probably work out that is eight centimeters cubed because one two three four and on the back there's four as well so if i put eight centimeters cubed into this beaker here that beaker is going to actually go all the way up to 28 milliliters because it's going to be 20 milliliters plus eight centimeters cubed which is going to meet the water level it's going to be 28 milliliters okay so let's have a go at that Right, we're in the teach phase. Let's start off with the teach phase and a deeper hue of water. Let's go to 40 milliliters of water. Here you go, you've got 40 milliliters of water. And we've got this wonderful object over here, which is actually four centimeters cubed. And I think you can probably see those. One, two, three, four. So this is four centimeters cubed. If I pick this up and drop it in here with a splash, here you're going to have some splashing effects. Splash, 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 splash. The water is actually going to go up four milliliters. It's going to go up four milliliters because milliliters rather four milliliters because the space take, taken up by this object is exactly four centimeters cubed which is going to shift this water up four whole milliliters which means it's going to be 40 milliliters right plus four which means it's now going to be 44 milliliters the the the, the amount in the beaker will now be 40 four milliliters okay so there's the teaching phase over let's um do one together let's have a look at this object well let's say that uh, the, the water level in here uh, is let's say the water level in here is 50 let's say it's 50 uh, milliliters of, of water in in the beaker let's say and over here you come out of this shape um can you please work out the um centimeters cubed of this object it's not a shape this object thank you of this object Right, I hope you counted them up, and I hope you've gone, well, that's one, two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, there's two in the middle, seven, eight, and there'll be two on the other side, nine and ten. So that is going to be ten centimetres cubed. Right, if we take this ten centimetre cubed object and drop it in here, ka-plunk, and it's going to splash, some blue splashes, Mr. Burns, splash, 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 what's the water level going to go up to? It's already on 50, it's already on 50, but we've dropped 10 centimetres cubed in here. Kerplunk, splash, what's the water level going to go up to? It's going to be 50, because it's already 50 millilitres, plus what? I hope you worked out it's plus 10, because it's 10 centimetres cubed. So that means the new water level is going to be, well, can you tell me? The new water level is going to be 60 milliliters and the answer would be it goes up to 60 milliliters because it's going to go up exactly 10 isn't it because actually that that shape i can draw that and that shape's going to be in there and it's going to you know, take up the space of the water and then taking up the space of the water is going to make the whole thing raise up another 10 um, milliliters okay right um let's move along to the try phase which is where you try and work it out all by yourself so here you go um you're going to have another brick of water look this, this beaker is on this beaker is on 60 this beaker is on 60 look at that it's on 60 and it's full of water and you've got an object over here and i want you to work out how many centimeters cubed this object is okay and then what level what level of water uh, is going to be in the beaker once you take and plunk this object in here what is the water level going to be? Okay. All right. I hope you paused me and I hope you've worked it out already. If you haven't, do that now. 
But otherwise, I hope you worked out that this object actually has got, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's six times two, because there's the whole other side. So that's 12 centimetres cubed in that object. And you could plunk that into here, ker plunk, splash, splash, splash. You might even draw that just for a bit of fun. We've put that wonderful object in here. That means the water level has gone up what? It's gone up, well, plus 12, hasn't it? It's gone up plus 12. So if the water level was already on 60 millilitres, wasn't it 60 millilitres, um, it's gone up plus 12 because we popped in 12 centimetres cubed. That means the new water level is going to actually be 72 millilitres. And I hope you got 72 millilitres. And that would mean, I guess, the water level goes all the way up here and just a bit above the 70, wouldn't it? Because, because this object here taking up extra space in the water okay this has been teach together try we've been learning that uh, one centimeter cube displaces one milliliter of water okay thanks for listening and watching